Hey everybody on YouTube, November 1st here with the Losi 8 Gas Buggy, the recently discontinued one. I got this one part of the deal. Um, I'm freehanding the camera now because there's detailed things I'd like to show you about this buggy. Uh, with a 10% discount on top of the 279 after taxes I paid 270 271 uh, for this buggy. Had to get a battery, uh, I got a 4 cell battery. The starter box came with two Tamiya plugs cut it off, put one E3 on it, so use a 4-cell E3 on it for the starter box. That was 30 bucks, so $300 for everything, plus gas was two sixty-nine a gallon, so a little over 300 to get this thing uh, going and getting it running. Now, I've never had a low-C buggy before, and, you know, ignoring the gas part, um, this car is just amazing. I've never had a car handle so well. And I'm sure I'm preaching to the choir. I'm sure everybody already knows how amazing this car is. So I'm not going to get into that too much. But besides the fact that I just love it. And if I ever blow up that motor, I'm converting this to electric. And just going to love it even more. Uh, like I said, this car was part of this continued deal. Let me get the body off here. Um, I've tried to clean this up my best. Some of the little things that are new to me, obviously, is the uh, whole gas motor part. I've never even run nitro. So this is new to me completely. Uh, one of the biggest problems I noticed a lot of people struggling with are this is this receiver box. It's very hard to use. It's very hard to get the battery in there. I just noticed why do you have so long of a cable in there that's not needed. My solution was to slide it through the hole here and have a majority of the cable sticking out and under. And also taking, I noticed I was damaging some of these cables on here, so I just took cable tie and wrapped it up. Uh, my solution putting it in, I'm doing this one-handed, is to just stick it in the top first. Actually, I'll do it the other way. Put that way in first. Because I put the electrical tape on it, it catches. And then you got that little pocket in there. Just line the plug into. Like I said, I'm doing this one hand. Then plug it in, and it should slide down pretty much perfectly. Um, that's the way I got it in there. Like I said, this cable box was actually destroying some of the cables on here, and the stickers are getting in the way. So, so that electrical tape fix, and uh, sliding the cable in actually did a pretty dang good job. The other issue I had with this car was these cables right here. Uh, let me see if I can get a good angle on this. These were actually up against the... Um, against the coupler here those cables right there and they were wearing against it and wearing the cables out so if I can zoom in there you can see some of the blue right there coming out of the black separate light there you go the blue coming out of the black there was where the cable was actually starting to be damaged by the drive shaft so I pushed them up and I pushed them down. Uh, it's really hard angle to see, but the main way to keep it uh, safe is to take and push it down in to keep it off of that drive shaft. I ran, found out the hard way. There is no, you know, voltage cut off on this. I ran this down to 6.8 volts. Uh, another thing I noticed is this will spill gas the second it flips over. Uh, so there's ga gas wet spots everywhere in here. It's just all new to me. I might be talk, preaching to the choir, but it's new to me. I like this a lot. The tuning process was interesting. I'd never tuned a nitro before, so I have nothing to compare it against. But all in all, this car is very nice. Um, seems pretty fast. I had somebody, my neighbor has a ECX uh, Revenge E-Type that he raced me with, and I wasn't extremely faster, but I definitely was running up on him. As far as some of the weird things I've had with this car, when I started it, um, the first couple of runs, uh, I had just literally gas shoot out and splat against the wall. I don't know if that's normal or not. I would say that's running really rich. Um, it's also currently 40 degrees outside right now, so that may be part of it. It not wanting to run so well. I just noticed this. Hopefully that doesn't come off anymore. Keeping the body clean was kind of interesting. I scrubbed and scrubbed. I'm just OCD. I like having my stuff very shiny. So I have some more tires coming in. I have some uh, speed treads. They're really low profile. Uh, some people on Amazon were talking about it, how they could go 85 miles an hour on these tires and they didn't balloon. I'm not trying to go 85. I just like to run my buggies on the road. Uh, that's very, very smooth. 
So this is my review. Hopefully we'll do some more running video of it. Um, and then we'll have some video of me ticking off my neighbor. I have a nosy neighbor that uh, hates anything I do that makes noise. She even hates the electrics. And she she's threatening to call the police on me for my drone. Even though I was flying in my own yard. Uh, one of those people. So Other than that, once I get some more information on this and learn about it, then we'll uh, take it from there. Thank you and have a good day.